in question number 13 these two are the equation of the sides of the rhombus and this is the point of intersection of the diagonals first we are computing the angle bisector of these two sides and that will be given by x minus y plus 1 upon root 2 equals 7 x minus y minus 5 upon 5 root 2 uske liye root 2 cancel out ho jayega and if we will cross multiply by 5 what we will get is x minus y plus 1 equals multiplied by 5 equals 7 x minus y minus 5 then is going to be x minus y plus 1 multiplied by 5 equals minus 7 x plus y plus 5 so this is going to be the first equation 5 x 7 x so this is going to be 2 x this is minus y so this is minus 5 y on that side this is plus 5 y so this is going to be 4 y and this is going to be minus 10 so this will be x plus 2 y minus 5 equal to 0 one of the angle bisectors now here it is 5 x and minus 7 x so this is going to be 12 x minus 5 y and plus y so this is going to be minus 6 y and plus 5 will cancel out so this is 0 after cancelling 6 this is going to be 2x minus y equal to 0 now we are writing down the equations of di diagonal since the diagonals are going to be parallel to these two lines and they are passing through minus 1 comma minus 2 so the equation of diagonals will be x plus 1 plus twice y plus 2 equal to 0 and here it is going to be 2 times x plus 1 minus of y plus 2 equal to 0 so one of the diagonal is going to be x plus 2y plus 5 equal to 0 and this is going to be 2x minus y equal to 0 now we have to verify which of the points in the option lies on the diagonal and we can see the fourth option that is given by the fourth option which is given by 1 by 3 comma minus 8 by 3 lies on this line and hence the answer of this question is 4. In question number 14, a differential equation has been given of a curve and the curve passes through 1 comma minus 1 and we have to find out the value of f of minus r. For solving such equation, we can form an exact differential by simplifying this. This can be written as, this equation can be rewritten as y dx plus xy square dx equals x dy. Now we are y dx ko right hand side ja rahe and y square se divide kar rahe So the equation will be x dx equals x dy minus y dx or y square se divide karne ke baad ye is tarikhe se dekhe. So this can be written as differential of x square by 2 and this is minus of differential of x upon y. So if we are integrating this, this is x square upon 2 plus constant of integration equals minus x upon y moreover the curve passes through 1 comma minus 1 so this is going to satisfy this equation so this is going to be 1 by 2 plus c equals 1 so the value of constant of integration is going to be half and from here we can simplify and get y equals minus 2x upon x square plus 1 so the value of f of minus half we can see is 4 upon 5 and from the given options we can see one will be the answer uh, this is a question related to permutation and combination in which we have given a word small now what do we have to do in this small ke letters ko arrange karte ek dictionary and we have to tell us what is the rank of this letter word uh, small so first what we can do is we can calculate the total number of words which can be formed using the letters of the word small so if we are talking about total number of words taking all the letters this is equal to 5 factorial since there are total 5 objects and now we can see these two are identical so for repetition this is 2 factorial so total number is 60 now if we uh, look for the first uh, word in this dictionary so this is going to be a l l m S. this will be the first and if we are talking about small so this is going to be the uh, from the last it will be better to calculate so 
if we are talking about the 60th letter of this dictionary, this is going to be S M L L A. This is the 60th. Then is 59th. We are calculating it in reverse order. This is going to be S M L A L. And if we are talking about the 58th, this is going to be S M A L L. So we can clearly see 58th will be the rank and hence the answer is what?